Hi, I'm Ron Brown of Kingdom Sports, and great to be with you. Ryan Limbaugh's The Uncompromising Coach. I'm excited about this book, man. I've gone through it. I've read through 1 Samuel numerous times in my life. But uh, there's some eye-opening things here as Ryan has uh, helped us to discover with his book, and I'm sure this is going to be exciting for you as well in our Bible study. The first 15 chapters of the book of Samuel is what he covers. And really, we have to remember, there are two kings and two kingdoms that he's going to be talking about here. Primarily, it's King Saul and King David. Uh, really, it's one kingdom, but King Saul takes it in a direction that God doesn't want it to go. And that reminds us as believers, and you, coach, that you have a choice of two kingdoms, the kingdom of God or the kingdom of man. It starts with the prophet Samuel. Samuel um, was a miraculous baby against all odds. Hannah just screaming for a child, wanting a child, wanting a male child. Uh, God had closed her womb. How many times, coach, has God not answered a prayer in your sporting life, in your coaching world, only later to open it back up in his way, in his time? And that's exactly what happens. Hannah's womb gets opened up and the prophet Samuel, he wasn't a prophet when he was a baby, but he became a prophet. That was a wonderful purpose. Hannah offers him right back to the Lord and it's a win-win. When you have a blessing from God, you can learn how to give that right back to the Lord for his purpose and his direction. And as he gives it back to you, his major desire, as we're going to learn in this book, is for you and I to grow as Christians. And as coaches, we have an opportunity to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ with every situation. It's not going to be about wins and losses. It's going to be about this discovery of what God has called you to do within the sports world. So I'm excited about 1 Samuel, and we're going to go through the next 15 chapters through The Uncompromising Coach.